I thought I would do um, a little bit of a critique about my Alpha Horror cookies. I'm not disappointed with how they turned out. They really turned out very well, better than expected, actually. Um, the first one that I did was the traditional Argentinian Alpha Horror has the beautiful crumbly cookie crust. It's filled with dulce de leche and you have the surrounding coconut. And these, like, they just, like, they break open beautifully and they're very soft and just lovely to eat, lovely to eat. Now, because my Argentinian beast loves strawberry jam, he thought, well, let's try some with the strawberry jam filling. And they are super, super, super sweet, almost too sweet. I don't particularly enjoy them myself. One is okay with it, but going forward, I would never do the strawberry jam in these ever again. This is my experiment making a gingerbread alpha whore, which I added uh, molasses, ginger, and lime zest to it. And I created two different fillings. One was pear, one was peach, and I made them with a ground almond on the outside instead of the coconut. Now, I did these the day after I cooked the cookie. The cookie started to get it started to dry out because there was no filling or anything. So I thought, oh, I screwed up. I really screwed up. But once I did the filling and let them sit for a while, they came out so soft, so soft, beautifully soft. And when you bite into them, the thing with these, when you bite into them, you don't want the filling to squeeze out, which now these don't. And... Mm. Really delicious. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and if you like ginger, I actually kind of find these a little bit addictive. I, I have to stop at two when I eat them because I could eat four or five actually. But at the end of the day, Nothing beats their traditional alpha whore with the dulce de leche. Mm. There's something about the combination of the filling, the coconut, and the cookie that is, I don't know, I think it's divine. Anyway, I will have... Mm. Sorry. The recipes for everything are in the descriptions of the videos where I made them. I'll leave the links to those in the description of this video. Give them a try. You never know. I will say though, I have a disclaimer. The fillings I did make for the gingerbread cookies is highly experimental. Maybe you have something better and if you do, certainly share it with me. I would appreciate it. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me in my kitchen. We'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.